Good morning, everyone. Or I don't know what time of the day you have there, but it's morning here and Saturday. And this means that today I'm free to do whatever I want. And I woke up and I thought, what I want is to go out and explore vintage stores in Bucharest. First of all, I'm very curious what they have because they have quite a lot and all of them are quite close to where I live. So it's going to be very easy. And second, I uh, feel like maybe I deserve a treat <laughs> to add something to my wardrobe for spring because I've realized uh, recently that I uh, haven't bought anything for my wardrobe since August. It's not like I tried not to buy anything, I just like didn't need to, um, didn't have any opportunities and uh, yeah, I think it's time. The plan is to just enjoy a sunny weather, enjoy exploring new shops and then if I find something cool, then it's uh, just an added bonus. The first shop I found on Google Maps <laughs> that was the closest to me. So it's here, it's very small and uh, they let us shoot inside. So let's go check it out. Okay, let's see what they have. Oop, poncho, not today. Maybe one day. It's a full skirt for summer. Now that Maxi is on trend again, it's pretty cool with a, sh a white t-shirt or something or a light uh, green sweater. Mm -hmm. Nice. What else? Here we have like a second hand and also vintage pieces I can see. So it's a mix. Well, I actually wanted like a, maybe a dress or um, a skirt. I don't have any skirts in my spring wardrobe, so maybe. I think I'm gonna try this skirt because it's nice for summer has a lot of colors so you can have a lot of options for the top can be any color that you can see in the skirt hmm. let's do it first shop is done very nice a little cute one i definitely gonna come back here and uh, yeah did i buy the skirt i don't know i don't know we'll see i guess in the end of the video so let's go to the second shop let's do it taylor sky is asking how to balance flexibility with plan do you go into a vintage shop knowing what you want? I think it's a very good question. Most probably it's good to kind of have a bit of both. You should have an idea of what you need, maybe even a list that will help you stay focused. But I think the fun part of vintage shopping is the unexpected finds. So I would say have a plan, make a list, but also be open to surprises that might align with your style. Next question comes from Madopia. Hi, tips on picking items that have little flaws that can be fixed. Thanks. That's a beautiful question. And I think if you find an item with a small flaw, assess whether it's an easy fix for you personally. Because a simple repairs can add value to a unique piece. We all understand that, right? So just make sure that the cost and effort of fixing it are reasonable for you. Okay, the next message is like this. Your thought process for a good secondhand buy. I look at the quality, condition, fit, and its potential longevity in 
my wardrobe and also in fashion in general. And of course, finally, they should be versatile enough to work with my existing wardrobe. So maybe uh, I don't need to be perfect, so it doesn't have to fit every single item in my wardrobe, but I should have at least five, six nice outfits with it. I'm also very interested in your thought process. So if you have tips about choosing styling vintage items, please leave them in the comments below and let's learn from each other. Okay, second shop. Uh, looks quite fancy. But uh, let's see, it says uh, that I have a lot of vintage and also I think it's a good sign. Huh? <laughs> okay, let's go inside. Looks like they have brands, like uh, uh, luxury brands, but vintage. This one is uh, Escada, so cute. Oh my God. Huh? with a bit of ruffle, but the prices are pretty, pretty okay. A bit expensive, but also we can understand that it's more curated. So for that, we have to pay, <laughs> All right? Let's see here, it's orange, my color palette. Let's see what they have here. Some. I really love it. I have to try it. Oh gosh. I remember where people were obsessed wearing DNG belts. <laughs> well, now they are in vintage shops. We are joined by Nicole, the owner yes, of this beautiful shop. Nice Thank to you. meet you. Nice to meet you. It's a beautiful and welcome. shop. Thank it's you. It's a beautiful shop. It's true vintage. Yes. Uh, and everything is curated. I yes. can, I yes. can by us. Piece yeah. by piece, every every item. Yeah. So you, you have designer clothes mostly. We have only famous designers' clothes and uh, the the most important condition is to be to re to be real vintage. Yeah. Yeah, that's quite rare nowadays because uh, mostly you come in and it's just uh, H&M and uh, Zara. Yes, yes. <laughs> we are like anti-mass market. Uh, yes. <laughs> manifesto anti-mass market. And uh, I like that you have uh, quite uh, fair prices. Yes, they are, they are fair prices. Yeah, of course. It depends if mm -hmm. you, we have also uh, like, I don't know, Christian Dior or Hermes items and they're a little bit more expensive. Yes, a little bit more, but we have also retro mm -hmm. designers and uh, from 70s, 80s, 90s that mm -hmm. are very affordable. And uh, you have an online shop as well? Yes, right? we have an online shop and we deliver worldwide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and we also, uh, the shop, uh, we opened the shop five years ago and three months ago we opened the pizza place in the same place where I think the first concept in Romania, shopping and dining in the same, under the the same roof. And how do you curate items? What is your standard? Um, they have to be real vintage, 20 years ago, created, famous designers. Uh, we look for um, accessories, embroidery, uh, materials. Uh, we have a lot of uh, cashmere, uh, pure silk, uh, virgin wool and mm -hmm. all kinds of uh, material, Na natural fibers, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. quality should quality, also yeah, be... Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Because nowadays you cannot find so, no. so many no. products like this. Yeah, exactly. I even saw a wool jacket that was around 120 euros, which yes. is for vintage, some people would say, like, oh, it's too expensive. But in actual world, like yes. try to find a 100% yes. wool yeah. Jacket or a cashmere sweater in any shop yeah. at the moment. Yeah, you we can have do cashmere that. Uh, is like I don't know 80 100 euro per item And you know that cashmere is very very expensive. 
also we have products like Escada from West Germany. Mm -hmm. uh, they are they have 20, 25 years old. Yeah, they used they to are, be so cool. Yes, amazing pieces and you cannot find them in, anywhere else. Wow. Where should I start? I don't know. Wow, I mean, look at this one. So cool. This is just so cool. It's a lot of white things. Wow. I mean, is it only me? We had better clothes in the 90s. How about this? I'm in heaven. <laughs> I'm in a vintage heaven. Oh my gosh. Wait. Okay, so I'm not gonna tell you if I bought something there or not. We will see in the end of the video. <laughs> But that was a really good shop, really good shop. I'm gonna come back and just dress there, I think. I, I don't think I need anything else. And now I'm also gonna check their online shop. That's not an ad, right? We just met the owner of the shop. She just came out and she was like, oh, can I be in the video? <laughs> I was like, yeah, of course. So not planned advertising, but I think the shop is so great, such a good, concept and selection that is definitely worth mentioning all right it's almost the end of the day i'm not sure if we can jump into another vintage shop but we will try let's do our best for me it would be useful to start with the basics what makes vintage vintage okay vintage refers to items typically 20 years old but of course, it's more than just age. Vintage items reflect the style and quality of their era, offering a unique connection to the past. For example, when I wear vintage, I feel like I'm not just wearing clothes, but I'm also embracing and kind of celebrating uh, fashion history somehow. <laughs> I don't know. I, I really love it. It's not like I would have a whole wardrobe full of vintage items, but I definitely love to hunt for some treasures once in a while. It's really, really fun. You should try it out. I also got quite a lot of questions about how to style vintage items. So it doesn't, so you don't look like a grandma, so it looks more modern. I think the best thing that we can all do is to combine them with more contemporary items to create a kind of nice blend. So people don't even understand if it's vintage, it's not vintage, it just should look interesting and cool enough for you. Another thing is that you can tailor vintage pieces for a better fit, so they look a little bit more modern. For example, there are a lot of the, those uh, kind of like 80s blouses with huge shoulder pads. You can just take them out, the shoulder pads, and it will already look so much better. And next week, I will also show you how I personally will style items that I bought today. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, press uh, the bell to get notified as soon as that video is out. So I will show you how I do it and also give you some other tips on styling and combining things together so they don't look theatrical or like a grandma. <laughs> Let's uh, see another message. I get so overwhelmed in vintage or secondhand shops due to so many items. Any advice? I think feeling overwhelmed in a vintage shop or secondhand shop is quite common. I feel that as well sometimes. So what I like to do is I 
like to focus on one section at a time or look for specific items. It's easier to manage and makes the experience more enjoyable. For example, if I don't need a denim jacket or any jeans, I will skip the whole rail or the whole section with denim. Uh, the same with like leather things, if I don't need it, I skip it. I also try to always like pull out the colors that suit me and then I see the items. So I will not go every item just like that. I will go by color at least so it's faster this way. I hope this helps. Pretty crazy, but I like. <laughs> maybe, maybe, let's see. Let's see. Well, here is also vintage, definitely. There's no fast fashion brands. It's all unknown brands and a very good quality. And the price, the price, this one doesn't have a price, but how cute. So cute, such a nice uh, everyday blouse. Beautiful. I might even try. So the prices are very affordable. Everything is around like 10 euros, 10 dollars. It's very good pricing. Let's see if we can find something. Oh, so cool. I like some weird <laughs> patterns for sure. Ooh. This one is also pretty cool. But the collar, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> uh, only if you have the skill to make the collar maybe like around, then it would be pretty cool. But I don't have skills like that. So I need something that I can actually wear or if I alter just a little bit, not the whole thing. Hmm. This one is pretty cute for summer. It's nice with the white trousers. I think I'll try. I don't know if it's my size. Well, sizing is irrelevant. In vintage, you have to just try it out and see uh, if it fits or not. That's the only way. Well, I see already white jeans. I like the color. Maybe together. Very cute spring summer outfit. Can be in spring, I can wear it with a cardigan. Definitely trying it out. I like the color, this kind of like a pastel yellow. This is nice, very versatile as well. Well, I'll try this and then we'll see if I need to find something else. A whole bag of goodies let's do unpacking and in uh, in the next week video I will show you how I will wear it first I got a shirt it's like an oversized shirt it's a men's shirt it has a very cute little print kind of like a random polka dots in uh, different colors. I thought it would be nice for working at home, very comfy. I really like this kind of like oversized uh, menswear inspired shirts. Yeah, very good. I love it. But it's very, very oversized and it's a bit long, so I might need to alter it a little bit, just slightly. Okay, so I got um this skirt i thought i can make it work for summer the fabric is very very thin cotton so it's definitely a summer skirt and i thought it would be so easy and uh, so comfortable to 
I wear it in summer with any of these colors like red top, yellow top, brown top, black top, anything. Just uh, simple sandals. I can take my dog out, can go to the park. So we'll see. But this is for like summer wardrobe, not now. Okay, I also got some small things as well, as well. Oh God, I saw, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, I got sunglasses. I always wanted um, a new one for like a cat eye. So good. Next item is a jacket. I thought it was just so cool. Can uh, fit any trousers really and also even maybe some dresses that I have. Because it gives you like a pop of color and uh, the fabric is very nice. It fits really well, just like perfect. And it's not oversized because I try to have more balance now because I found out that I have way too much oversize in my wardrobe and I'm getting really, really tired of it. So I want to have like a more balanced and more diverse silhouettes. I also got a belt. I mean, that belt is so cool. It is so cool. <laughs> it's just hard to even show you how it works but i thought also you know for summer sleep dresses you just put the belt like this a statement belt i'm gonna wear it so much the final one is this jacket i couldn't resist <laughs> i mean i put it on and i had such a big smile on my face so it definitely makes me happy uh, beautiful shoulder line it fits perfectly it's my style good quality good fabric oh, I can't wait to wear it I can't wait to wear it it's so beautiful oh my god I'm so excited <laughs> and I'm excited for the next week as well because next week I will show you how I style these items how I'm going to combine this all of this with what I already have right so it's gonna be fun 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 don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet and press the bell to get notified and also you know if you liked this video please don't forget to press like and even better send it to one of your friends maybe you have someone that loves vintage so they might like this video if you have any questions ideas suggestions please don't be shy leave them in the comments below i'm always happy to chat with you thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next week